Atrás de mim está aquela que é de, provavelmente uma das esteias mais importantes de Londres Nebra, pelo menos no que a supercarros diz respeito. Falo do Koenigsegg Yesco. Tem 1.600 cavalos de potência e quer bater o recorde do Koenigsegg Agera em estrada. 482 km por hora. Será que vai conseguir? Talvez. O Koenigsegg Yesco é o sucessor do super recordista a GRS e uma homenagem ao pai de Christian von Koenigsegg, a quem deve o seu nome. Este será o último carro apenas com motor a combustão da Koenigsegg e tem como objetivo superar o seu antecessor. Para conseguir superar o a GRS tem de se tornar no carro mais rápido do mundo em estrada. O objetivo? 482 km por hora. Pelo meio ainda promete ir até ao inferno verde esmagar o recorde existente. Para nos contar todos os detalhes sobre o Koenigsegg e Esco, nada melhor do que o próprio Christian von Koenigsegg, que se juntou a nós para mais um momento exclusivo aqui no canal de YouTube da Razão Automóvel. So Christian, thank you very much for this moment. This was a fantastic premiere here in Geneva, the Esco, everyone was talking about the car um, and how he wants to break another barrier uh, in the industry, but more than figures there are a lot of stuff in this car and the uh, technical stuff that um, uh, go beyond that because that's how, how we do it the work you do before the numbers yes. before the records before the speed there is a lot in this car yeah a lot of new technology yes. yeah so we had basically the idea to uh, elevate the performance from the Agera line, the Agera Ors line to the next level by going through the whole car with a tooth comb to see where can we improve, change, uh, find new ways to make it better, lighter, better ergonomics, uh, more downforce, uh, more ex even more exciting looks uh, uh, and to meet uh, all the regulations in the world coming in the future for emissions and safety uh, and and still improve performance anyway. Uh, so it was really a big undertaking and it, and it demanded us to be very innovative and look outside of the box to come up with new solutions for transmissions, new solutions for how to look at combustion and turbocharging. Uh, and this is our last car probably with only a combustion engine which is not hybrid or electric. And we really wanted to make that something Fantastic. This, so this is a farewell, like um... farewell to the, the pure combustion engine car. Of course, as it is a Koenigsegg, we have also offered the opportunity to run on alcohol and ethanol 85 to make it as uh, uh, environmentally benign and CO2 neutral as possible. Um, but it depends on which country you're in if you can find this fuel. The benefit of this fuel is that power also goes up. So we always like to encourage the the drivers to use the environmentally fu uh, environmental fuel because it also brings more power. So, uh, but still, going forward from this point on, it's it's going to be important with uh, energy recuperation from braking and so on to meet the future regulations and to be completely CO2 neutral. So, therefore, to only use a combustion engine later on will probably not be possible. Okay, so this is a pleasure because we are uh, in the ultimate machine, the ultimate, the ultimate combustion machine. Uh, so what can you tell us about the car? We have a, a great power figures to achieve the, yes, the yes. So 482 we, kilometers per hour right. objective. <laughs> exactly. So we have uh, uh, our trusted uh, five liter V8 architecture, yes. which we see uh, over here. But we have uh, completely new cylinder heads with uh, a new turbulence uh, inducing systems for lower RPM so we get cleaner combustion. We have a secondary air system, we have electrically heated catalytic converters, we have a very uh, massive uh, turbo on each side which we have uh, a patented process to spool up to make it feel like a small turbo even though it's big for lower RPM so the car is to very drivable. With a very uh, uh, fast response exactly. on lower revs. Exactly. The, the upside of a big turbo is high power at yeah. high RPM 
but usually the downside is not so much power at lower RPM and slow so response. So you, you get uh, rid of that uh, uh, inertia yeah, sure. uh, exactly. and, uh, and, and you have great power since the, the beginning of the, the, the As soon as you touch, we have a, a, a 20 liter carbon fiber tank with 20 bar pressure with a little small electrical compressor and then we have uh, nozzles in the system uh, blowing pressurized air on strategic points in the turbo system to help it spool up quicker and seal it off uh, at lower RPM so you can get more pressure uh, when it's not spinning so fast. So accelerating performance so, yeah, is? Yeah, so we're talking uh, uh, 0 to 100 in uh, 2.6, 2.7 seconds. Okay. It's a rear wheel drive car, so that's about as good as you can get it. Yeah. But 0 to 300 is just over 10 seconds. Then you go. Yeah, the, and when it go, when it passes that point, when the traction. Yeah, uh, as soon as you're over 50 kilometers per hour, so everything digs everything in. Everything is yours. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, and then up to 400 is under 20 seconds. So it's incredible. But then we have also 880 kilos of downforce with this extreme aerodynamic package. So uh, and with the new Cup 2R tires from Michelin, you get massive amounts of grip. We're talking way over 2G in the corners, uh, and we believe. We believe this, yeah, it's incredible. We, we believe this will be the fastest fully worldwide homologated car around big racetracks. Uh, so so you're, you're aiming to the never ring? That's one of them, yes, absolutely. So we have this uh, new uh, transmission, yes. uh, which we have invented for this car. It's a nine speed transmission. Uh, we made it very lightweight um, because we have compounding gear sets. So we only have six gear sets, three on a lower shaft and three on an upper shaft, and we can mix them however we want. So three, three times three is nine gears, but it's only six gear sets. So it's small as a six-speed gearbox, but you get nine yeah, because gears. Because it's very compact. Very compact, very lightweight. Yeah. So it takes 1,500 newton meters of torque, and including the starter motor and all the clutches and everything, it's just under 90 kilos of weight which is lighter than a seven-speed DCT yeah, so with less torque capability. So the whole package, how, how much is it weight? Like engine and uh, yeah, so the Yeah, so, so the engine is 182 kilos and this is uh, 90, so it will be 272 kilos for the whole Fantastic. package. So the heart of a car that goes... Uh, yeah, with that kind of power and torque, it's a very, very it light It is, uh, it is system. very impressive, very impressive. And um, the car itself, uh, we, we've, we have... Uh, uh, um, amazing aero uh, yeah. work here. We have uh, basically for two years, every night, our supercomputer for uh, CFD, for aerodynamic analysis, has been running, running uh, the shapes, and we have optimized and redesigned and reshaped for homologation, for looks, and mostly for aerodynamics to make the car have extremely good low drag, high down force, uh, but still look good and everything is in the correct place for homologation. So that has been a lot of uh, iterations to make that happen. The, the, the wing, it remains like this or it's... Uh, or, 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 it's active. Okay. So when you brake, it goes up to braking mode okay. and then depending on speed, it goes up or down and depending on which mode you're in. The chassis is active in ride height, front and rear. Uh, you have different modes. Uh, the springs are active, different spring uh, ratios, uh, and the shock absorbers are active. So active arrow and active suspension and af active ride height. And all of that is automatic or uh, the driver can set up... Uh... He, the driver can choose from three different modes. Within those modes, it's automatic. Okay. Um, so you have a fully carbon fiber monocoque? Fully carbon fiber monocoque. Uh, As fully is tradition in, in, uh, in Konisek? Yes, yes, yes. In okay. this case, it's a little bit longer, a little bit higher, so we can fit slightly bigger persons. Now we also have the chance to sell to short basketball players in the <laughs> America. <laughs> if they're not more than two meters tall, then we can fit them. Uh, okay. So a little bit more room. Um, we have a new uh, type of carbon fiber wheel, which is one inch higher in both front and rear, 20 and 21. They are very different from the 1-1? One, one. Yes, yes, it's a bigger wheel and we have... The, the technology you, you've improved? Uh... Yeah, so it's the lightest wheel we have made, even though it's the biggest wheel we have made. So in the front it's 5.9 kilos, in the rear it's 7.4 kilos. The, the, the car is finished? Everything? Uh, this is the first show car. Okay. Uh, it is. 95% uh, finished in engineering, 
and we will make now four running prototypes uh, that will run uh, from the summer and onwards. So next Geneva here, we will stand with a production ready car. Okay. And at the end of next year, we will deliver cars. Okay. This so this is the first show car. How about uh, personalization? Do you have a... Uh, uh, yes. The owner you, can choose... You can choose uh, aero package level. So uh, this is the track uh, aero package with most downforce. Then you can choose uh, uh, less downforce and uh, a high stability high speed stability kit so you can go over 300 miles per hour or, or 482 kilometers per hour okay. and with that version you can also put the roof in the front on the on the track arrow we have this big channel going through the luggage in the front so you have to take off the roof and put it to the side not in the car so yes. it depends on which version you buy okay. and the to achieve that uh, maximum speed do you can do that. You, you can do that with normal tires, or do you still have a. Uh, yeah, and the, with the tires that come with the car. Yes, they are capable. So of doing Michelin it. Uh, and uh, and Kawasaki, you have a partnership to achieve that goal. Exactly. Okay. Price tag. So uh, this version here starts at uh, two point eight million dollars, which is in euro around two point five, five. Uh, and then the, uh, the 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 low drag. Uh, high speed version is a little bit more expensive because then uh, the uh, uh, ethanol flex fuel system is uh, included in the package because we need the 1600 horsepower to reach the top speed. Yes, you need, because you need 1600 but only with the petrol, right? Uh, with E85. With E85? Yes, on normal petrol it's 1280 horsepower on 95 octane. On uh, 98 octane, it's a little bit over 1300. So you really need to go further to go further than that. You need to use another fuel. Yeah, to the another e fuel to the, the, the E85. Yeah, so you e can find it. Okay. Uh, you can find it on the pump stations in Sweden, everywhere in Europe, some places in US, in many pump stations. Yes. It's not so popular in Europe, uh, but I think it will come back because it's very good for the environment compared to normal petrol. Have you already uh, achieved? The 482 kilometers per hour? No, no. So uh, this is the first show car, and we will start driving this model for the first time this summer. So maybe this summer? Uh, I think it's too early because we are just shaking down and uh, programming everything and so on. So I think uh, within within two years probably. Within two years. Yes. Okay. So there is still a lot of work to get to that. Yes. Extra. Yes, because that's the last thing we do in the development to do that. Ninety-five percent of uh, uh, everything you do is for the perfect product, but then if you want those last five percent, it a takes lot a lot. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot. Absolutely. Okay. So the, this car is also fully robotized in the bodywork, like the Regera. So with the remote, you can open and close the doors, the front and rear bonnet. Uh, we needed hydraulics for the aerodynamics and chassis ride height anyway. So by robotizing the body, it was only a penalty of five kilos because okay. the pump and the accumulator was anyway in the car. So, uh, and our customers really love this system. So it's very we, practical, it's, it's, very, yeah, it's very beautiful to see exactly. also. So we sacrificed five kilos of weight for that, but that is not so much. <laughs> exactly. So uh, about the interior, uh, what, what can you tell us about the interior of the car? It's a completely new interior. Uh, the monocoque is a little bit longer, so the whole interior space is a little bit bigger. More spacious. We have this new instrument cluster which sits on the steering wheel. And then we have touch pads on the steering wheel which are configurable and haptic feedback. You have uh, um, uh, two, three points. Uh, yeah, you, uh, have, you have the normal uh, seat belt here. Okay. And then you have this uh, you six, have three si point seat six point Six point seat belt. Yes, uh, for track use. So, and you can fold down this in the seat so it's not in the way. And, you can un you can remove this if you don't want to use them for daily driving. Okay. And so it's a very roomy car. Uh, we have a very advanced infotainment system okay. with bird's eye view parking, uh, with parking sensors, with over the air upgradeability, with Apple CarPlay, Apple navigation, things like that. So uh, oh, and we also have uh, inf uh, wireless phone charging and, and wireless CarPlay. So a completely daily drive pretty much yeah. you can charge your phone you can you have uh, quite a lot of storage space a glove box you have a storage space in the door here so it's fairly practical and you have so some decent space in the front that, 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 that's very interesting because you you've managed to transform a car that is a 
the, the, the most purest hyper car in a, a, a car that you can, you, you can use it, uh, uh, yeah. you can put your stuff in, Absolutely. and you can break a world record. And look, you can, <laughs> you can park this close to another car and open fully. And now we have also made an adaption to our famous door hinge. So you have a lot of space here for curbs. You can park straight over a curb with a door. Yes, and you, don't, you won't scratch the, exactly. the door. And it's also sensors inside here to check the area before the door opens so it doesn't hit anything. Okay. Christian, thank you a lot. It's thank a very you. impressive car. One thank of, you so one much. of the, um, the greatest car that was presented this year in Geneva. Thank you. And uh, I hope we see each other next year. Absolutely. And uh, with more news in yeah. Koenigsegg. You were always trying to bring uh, we try. <laughs> great news for car enthusiasts all over the world. We try to do our best. <laughs> Thank you, Thank, you Thank you very much. Thank you very much. E é isso, são 482 km/h de velocidade máxima, é aquilo que a Koenigsegg está a prever. Será que eles vão conseguir novamente quebrar o recorde de velocidade em estrada? Se achas que sim ou não, clica aqui e participa nesta sondagem. Queremos saber, achas que eles conseguem voltar a quebrar um recorde? Eu, eu acho que sim. Não te esqueças, clica no link que está na descrição deste vídeo para ver mais informações sobre o Koenigsegg e Esco e, claro, visita a nossa página dedicada ao Salão de Genebra 2019 em www.razãoautomóvel.com. 